Hello and welcome everyone. In this video we will make a Raspberry Pi headless and reach it from network using Wi-Fi and SSH. So these are the requirements that you need. A laptop, a mobile for Wi-Fi connection, a Raspberry Pi imager, a Raspberry Pi kit, a card reader and a power adapter. So first thing you want to do is remove your SD card from the Raspberry Pi kit. You want to install an OS on this SD card which, which will power up the Raspberry Pi kit. After removing it, install or insert it in your card reader and connect this card reader to your laptop. Once you connect it to your laptop, you can check it in your file manager or device manager. It can be seen over here. Next thing you want to do is search for Raspberry Pi Imager. From the official Raspberry Pi site, click on it. First thing that will pop up. And you can find Raspberry Pi Imager over here. Click on download for windows or any other preference that you might need. Once it gets downloaded, you can click on open to install it. The installer window will pop up. Click on next. It is a one click installation. You need to launch it. Click on finish. This will launch the installer. Uh, sorry, the, not the installer, the Pi Imager. We need this to install, configure and install our OS on that SD card. First thing we want to do is select an operating system and the device on which we want to write the operating system. In our case, the SD card. So first thing you will select the OS that is suggested then click on select storage you need to check whether same storage is that the one here inserted SD card mine is same so I will click on it before writing the OS select the configuration option the settings button first thing you want to do is enable the host name set host name by default it will give raspberry Pi. then you have to select enable SSH and in that you need to write a username and a password i will insert my name as username and same as my password next thing you want to do is configure wireless lan here you need to add your hotspot name and hotspot password as ssid and password i am using mobile hotspot so i am using my hotspot name as ssid and my hotspot password as the password because I want to connect to this Wi-Fi or this hotspot. So I am using that credentials. Next thing you want to do is select the country. Mine is India. So I will select IN option from the drop down. So let's check. We will say select the set host name option. Then we will select the enable SSH option. We will insert username and password. Then we will select the configure wireless lan add our host name hotspot name and hotspot password select the country and that's it click on save so we chose an operating system first which selected the storage we configured and now we will click on write it will ask it will erase all the data previous data we will select yes Once we click on yes, it will start the writing process. This process may take a lot of time depending on your uh, internet connection. Mine was, mine took a lot of time. So I have fast forwarded it. Depending on your internet connection, it may vary. The time may vary. Once the writing process is completed, the next thing it will do is verify the operating system. The verification process will start after the writing process. 
this also took a lot of time in my case so i am fast forwarding it again once the verification is done it will prompt you that it has been written or has been written you can remove the sd card close the image and eject your card reader from your device or laptop once you eject your card reader remove the sd card from the card reader and insert it back into your raspberry pi kit now you need to power up your raspberry pi kit you can either connect the power adapter to the socket for powering it up in my case i am connecting it uh, to my laptop using usb you can choose any option anyone uh, with which you are suitable with once this is done once you power up your raspberry pi kit you need to turn on your mobile hotspot and first you need to connect your laptop to this uh, wifi or to this hotspot your laptop and your raspberry pi kit need to be connected on same hotspot so i have connected my laptop over here you need to wait for half a minute or uh, over a minute so your raspberry pi kit also gets connected to this hotspot you don't need to do anything with the raspberry pi kit you just need to power it up it will automatically get connected to this mobile hotspot because we have configured it to do so so this is uh, the raspberry pi is shown over here this is the host name that we have set for additional information you can click on the name host name and it will show you additional information like ip address etc next thing you want to do is open your command prompt on your laptop first command we need to insert is ping and space host host name that we have set initially in my case it is not working but generally it works another option we can try over here is ping and space the host ip that we saw by clicking on the connected devices option you can use this ip uh, in the ping command so as you can see i have pinged to that host ip it sent four packets and received four packets so the connection is properly connect established so there are two options either you can ping space host name or another option is ping space host ip generally the host name works uh, try both the second command we need to type is ssh space the username that we set for ssh in my case it was prasad at the rate the host name or host ip in my case host ip is working so i am uh, writing the host ip you can try with host name as well so prasad at the rate the host ip for my raspberry pi kit it will ask for you ask the permission you just need to type yes and click enter now it will ask for password which we have set initially for ssh you just need to enter the password and click enter after clicking enter it will open a secure shell command prompt for you as it is seeing over there now from this secure shell or ssh command prompt you can operate or manipulate your raspberry pi kit and we have uh, turned it headless without any peripheral device we can monitor or control the raspberry pi kit from this ssh so that's all thank you